Armed protesters didn't stay long when they showed up to demonstrate in front of a South Dallas mosque today and found that there was a larger group of counter protesters. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga was there for the 1 o'clock protest, and she's there now over about 10 minutes. Hi, Deanna. Hi there, Rich. You know, it is the second time in less than a month that a group has said it would protest the Nation of Islam Mosque here in South Dallas. And today, a group did show up to demonstrate. A dozen people who tell us they're part of a group that calls itself the Bureau on American Islamic Relations, or BEAR, brought guns to the protest just down the street, a short distance from the Nation of Islam Mosque here on MLK. They were outnumbered by people who were here to stand in front of the mosque. We heard from people in the neighborhood, members of the New Black Panthers, and the Huey P. Newton Gun Club, also armed, who were here in response to the anti-mosque protesters. Tell Bear they're not welcome in Dallas, they're not welcome in Houston, they're not welcome in Texas, they're not welcome in Louisiana, they're not welcome anywhere. And anywhere we find out they're, they're coming, we'll be there. We're going to stand up and fight back. If they want to fight like they say they do, then they just need to understand that they are going to have opposition now. They've never had opposition before, but they do now. The anti mosque protesters stay just a few minutes. We were in the middle of a short interview when it appeared police encouraged them to leave, and they did. And there was a large police presence here today. The Dallas Police Department yesterday sent us an email saying that officers would be out here concerned over, quote, racial overtones of this protest. Certainly, it was an emotional one, Rich, but nothing got out of hand. There was no violence, no, fi no fighting here today. Back to you. Thank you, Deanna.